Harvest and Brewery and today I'm going to be showing you how to tap a cask. But first, I need to tell you about our cask beer. We start our brew in our brew house. Here we mash malted barley with hot water into our mash tuns and it's allowed to sit for an hour. We then sparge it with hot water to extract all the sugars. From here, this is boiled in our kettle and then hops are added. We then cool it down and put it into our fermentation vessels. Here, yeast is added and the first fermentation begins. Once the first fermentation is finished, we then cool the beer down and we put it up into our conditioning tanks. Here, it sits for two days and allows all the proteins and yeast to settle out and then we barrel it all by hand at our barreling station. Now, a cask is a living product, which means there are still yeast within the cask. We want this because this will create a natural carbonation as the yeast does its secondary fermentation. So when we're going to tap a cask, we place a wedge underneath the back. This is to create a slope on the cask, which will create a pocket of air underneath the keystone. We create a pocket of air under the keystone so that when you tap the cask, the beer does not come back out and hit you in the face. So, we take our tap and we make sure it's closed. We then place it onto the keystone, take our mallet and give it a good firm tap into the cask. You want to give the tap quite a firm strike, but you don't want to tap it too hard in case you damage the actual tap. Once the tap is in place, we then roll the barrel onto its belly. Again, we place wedges underneath the back to create a slight slope to allow for dispense. As I mentioned, a cask is a living product, so there is yeast in there, which means we need to allow it a day's settling time to let all the yeast settle to the bottom so that we can dispense bright beer. So after it stays settling, we then want to release the first bit of pressure from the cask and we do so through the tap. Once we release the pressure, we then have to vent the cask. We do this by using spiles. First of all, we use a hard spile, which goes into the shy. By doing so, We've vented the cask, but we've also created a seal. So this, the hard spile will not let any oxidation happen to the beer. When you're ready to dispense the product, we remove the hard spile and we replace it with a soft spile. The soft spile is slightly more porous, which will allow for ease of dispense of the product. And Addy's going to pour our first pint. Once you're finished dispensing your cask, we replace the soft spile with the hard spile again. And as I said, this will reduce any potential for oxidation and it will allow the cask to last up to three days for dispense. Cheers. And that's how you tap a cask.